A while ago, I started to learn about shaders for game development so that I could create all of these awesome effects. So I just went to Unity and started writing some shaders in the classic HLSL code. But there is also other way to do it, which is to use shader graph, where you can just drag some nodes to the graph and make the shader visually. So because some of you might be confused if you should use classic shaders or the graphic version, I will tell you what are the differences between those two approaches and which one you should use. Just to clarify, both of these approaches are using the same language HLSL and when you write some shader in the graph, you can also access the code that is running behind the scenes so that you can take a look at it and see what is happening inside. And the way that you make these shaders is also same for these two options. Let's get to the pros and cons of the shader graph. So first big benefit is that you can prototype quickly and it is easy to learn. So if you are just trying to learn how to use shaders or how to create some shader that you have never seen before, you can definitely use shader graph. There are already pre-built in some functions that are not in the classic HLSL and just the way to make some shader work is usually easier in the shader graph, not always, but for basic shaders and prototyping, it is definitely better. What makes it easy to prototype is the visual feedback that you are getting from it, which is the second big benefit, because in classic HLSL shaders, you are not really able to debug it pretty well. You can't tell anything in the console, the only way that you can debug it is just visually, so you can basically just see if it is working or not. This is the only way that you debug it. But in visual shaders, in each node you can see small window of how the shader is going to look. So when you are taking some random value, you have some texture, you are doing some distortion, you can see all of that stuff inside the shader and you don't even have to be running the game. And this is where benefits of shader graph and at least for me, so it is easy to debug, you can quickly prototype and it is also good for learning. But there are also some cons. The first one I would say is worse performance. It obviously depends on the scenario, but if you take a look at the code, you can see there is a lot of stuff in the shader graph. This is just, uh, these are just all of the functions and the pre-built in stuff. But in HLSL code, you can just write anything you need and make it as optimized as you want. So the performance could be worse for shader graph, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. The second con is the lack of functionality. So if you want to create some basic for loop, this is not available in shader graph, at least for now. Unit is doing a lot of changes in shader graph, but there is a lot of functionality missing. So for that reason, I would not use it for some more complex shaders because it could be really hard to make it here. There is also an option to make your custom nodes. So with this, you could definitely add a lot more functionality to shader graph, but this way you are still writing classic HLSL code to make the custom nodes. So then why shouldn't you use classic HLSL right away? Now we can get to classic HLSL shaders, which as I said, have a lot more functionality, which is the first benefit. And you are just controlling everything in the shader based on what you write. And it also helps you to understand better how everything is rendered and how the shaders work overall. So when you learn how to write classic HLSL shaders, you will be able to write shaders pretty much anywhere. So it just gives you deep understanding of how everything inside the shader works and this can be also helpful when writing the shader graph. So first benefit is that you have a lot more control over everything that is happening inside the shader and there is more functionality. Second benefit, which kind of aligns with the first one, is the optimization. So you can make it as optimized as you want. Third benefit is that it is cross-platform, so that you can take the code from Unity and put it on any other machine and almost anywhere it is going to work, because shaders are really effective. And when you know how to write classic shaders, you will have a lot of job opportunities, because you don't only need to write shaders in HLSL and in Unity, you can write them pretty much anywhere else. And one of the cons for classic shaders is steep learning curve, because it takes really some time to just get into shaders. For me, it was about five hours of research to just understand what is happening in the shader, and then it will take you about 50 hours 
to really understand it and to be able to create some cool shaders, but I think that this time invested into shaders is really worth it. Because by understanding shaders, you will understand how everything is rendered and you may even be able to create your own game engine. So in conclusion, for which one of these two options should you go? If you want to write robust, optimized shaders and have even higher chance at finding a job, I would suggest you to go just for classic HLSL. And if you want to be able to rapidly prototype and learn shaders, you should go for shader graph. I hope that I helped you to choose if you should go for shader graph or for classical HLSL shaders. If you have different opinion about the pros and cons, then let me know down in the comments. In future, I'm planning to be making more videos about shaders and maybe even about shader graph. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.